Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. So today we gotta finish up part one and get ourselves a used ship from Stan's used ship emporium. And the only way we're gonna be able to do that is if we can get some credit from the shopkeeper, which Stan said we could do, potentially, but we know how the, what the shopkeeper's like. He doesn't particularly like us. We have tried to steal things from his shop in the past, and we've bothered him and forced him to go look for the Swordmaster like ten times now. So, I'm not feeling super optimistic that he's actually going to give us the store credit, but I did not want to go in here. <laughs> No, the, the chef is crying, I admit it, but I can't really help him out. Okay. Shopkeeper, here we come. I sure hope he can give me some credit, because if not, I'm going to be in some real trouble and I'm going to have to steal a ship from Stan's, which is not ideal. Hey, dude. I've got my eye on you, boy. <sighs> steal anything and I break your legs. What do you want? I want some credit. I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, I. Uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what he keeps in his safe. <laughs> Interesting. And let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm a grog swilling, foul smelling pirate. I'm waiting tables at the scum bar. I'm, I'm an acrobat with the traplings. Um. <laughs> I'm a grog swilling, foul smelling pirate. Foul smelling, yes. Grog swilling, maybe. But a pirate. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Come back when you got some tattoos, or a peg leg, or at least an eye patch for crying out loud. Wait, no, but I can't, I can't I tell you I've got a different job? Come on. That's a nice little alarm he has on his safe. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. Alright. What do you want? Come on, I want a note of credit. Uh, I can't ask for more. Dog on it. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm... I guess I could hike all the way over there... again. Be right back! I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything. Yeah, so we can't actually get him to give us a note of credit. We've kinda gotta steal one. And we saw his combination for opening the safe, so if we can replicate that perfectly, we can actually get us a note of credit. So let's see. First, we're gonna pull the handle. Now we've got to push it several times. Okay, push is S for some reason. And then what's pull? Pull is Y, apparently. So let's pull it once. Push it then. Hmm. Yeah! There's nothing in here but this note. Cool! Let's take a look! Oh, I also haven't examined a lot of this stuff. I bet this will come in handy. Staple remover. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstop. Oh, that's Attention, right. Pirates oh, that's right. That's just the ransom note. Your Whoops. governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. 
Whoops! Oh, I still have these mugs. That's pretty cool. Oh, he doesn't say anything. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. <laughs> Stands. Come on and look at the business card. Stan's previously owned vessels. I won't shut up until I've made you a deal, Stan. Oh, great. He's one of those people. When you set sail for good value, all winds blow towards Stan's. Warning. Contains strong magnet which may interfere with other navigational equipment. Oh, really? <laughs> I, the good and honorable storekeeper, do hereby take liability for the debts of the bearer of this note for any amount up to 5,000 pieces of eight. Cool. I mean, he's a jerk, so I don't. I'm not going to say he deserves it, but we can feel less bad about doing this. <laughs> and he doesn't catch us in the act, even though he does if we steal, blatantly we steal anything earlier. Cool. Well, he's definitely not going to join our crew now. But that's okay. I didn't want the shopkeeper as one of my cruisemen anyway. <laughs> Oh man, I was hoping we could tell him we're a bunch of different jobs, because I actually was an acrobat at the circus. But he's like, yeah, no way. And doesn't believe you. He doesn't believe you if you say anything. Which is not very honest of him. Because <laughs> what if we had an honest, decent job? But he's just like, I don't think you do. Back to stands, here we go. Now we can purchase ourselves a fine, previously owned vessel. Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. Man, Stan's personal ship is not very so, cool. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. <laughs> Wait, why am I going after the cheap ship? That doesn't seem my style. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it, hmm? What kind of price range were you thinking of? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five yeah, guys no, coming you, back no, to look you at don't, this baby Stan. today. Don't Those five guys instead opened a burger and fries mind. joint, and they're doing so very well what for themselves. Else can I, show you? I want the expensive one. Expensive uh, one! Could I see that red one again? Sure, sure. You're obviously an educated guy who wants to make an educated decision. Walk this way. There's no way that ship has everything on it that he said he do it does. It doesn't even look very good. Now here's a ship that's definitely worth a second look. What kind of price range were you thinking of? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? I'd love to. I really would. I usually do, but not for the amount this baby's gonna run you. Oh. Maybe one of the other ships would be more in your price range. Oh man, no! So, what else can I show you? Alright. Uh, could I see that Viking one again? Yes! Sure! That one looks no terrible, though. Problemo. It's really tiny. At least the... I've got nothing better to do than haul my butt up and down this dock showing guys like you the same ships over and over again all day long. Walk this way. Oh, Stan, your passive aggression is <laughs> charming, to say the least. Can't keep your eyes off her, can you? Let's talk about money. Your money. Oh, Stan. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? I'd love to. I really would. I usually do, but not for the amount this baby's gonna run you. 
Oh, man. Maybe one of the other that ships. Does, that looks like it would be the least expensive crazy. ship here, except for the one that's as so, is. What else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? <laughs> really? Why not? I got all day. Walk this way. <laughs> Love the music here. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Hmm? How much would you like to spend? Like to spend nothing, but I'm willing to. Give I got you credit this. from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stand. Except uh, it doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. <laughs> I mean, who am I to judge, right? Oh man. If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tacks. That blue we? one does look pretty cool. I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Okay. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 10,000 pieces of eight. How does that sound what? to you? How is that the cheap one? <laughs> I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Let's see. I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. <laughs> sure. I guess we can start out at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I got man. all day. <laughs> I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've <laughs> got to sell this, baby. <laughs> I did not pause! I wasn't even checking the keys! <laughs> oh, okay. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? <laughs> oh. well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? That's a little bit more like it. But not much. <laughs> I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away <laughs> today? Um. <laughs> I'd like to make you an offer. Great. Great. How much? Okay, okay. 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it. But not much. Oh, come on! I know you can try harder than that. <laughs> you realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? Are you saying your other ships are bad? I'd like to make you an offer. <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Stan? Great. Is it? <laughs> How much? <laughs> I've got to say this. Actually, I'd like you to squirm a little more. <laughs> sure! Hey, hey! That's my job, isn't it? Buddy, you can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say <laughs> when you come home with a new ship. Don't be such a wimp. Stand up to her. She'll respect you for it. Oh, Stan. And oh, no, Stan. The ship, no, Stan. <laughs> she'll love you for oh, it. Oh, Stan, no. This me. is not good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Oh, hang on. I actually am going to make a temporary safe stadium just in case this actually gives me the ship. I think you need to go to extras first and deny getting everything. But just in case, I want to show that off. All right, five thousand. But that's my final offer. That's a little bit more like okay. it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Oh. I don't understand. I thought you were interested in this ship. Oh, Stan, I don't like this anymore. Let's talk extras. Yeah! Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Oh. Gee, Stan, that sure does sound useful. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. 
sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's <laughs> oh, snap. more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? <laughs> I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. <laughs> but wait, there's wow, more. Stan. Did I tell you about the taco meter? What the heck is a taco meter? I think I can live without that particular piece Does it measure the tackiness of, of the boat? Because this one's a tad! Oh! Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, Do you see any rain more. on that finger, Stan? Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? Why? And how? It's a ship! I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. <laughs> it's a wooden ship! How does yeah, it have an I elevator? Guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait. I didn't even hear what more. I said no to. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. <laughs> okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defogger? Yes, you did. Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Um. Well, what do you think? What it's do you worth? think it's worth of all the extras removed? You could sail this puppy away today for just fifty-eight hundred pieces of eight. How does that okay, sound? Okay, that's you? a lot more reasonable. That's almost half the price. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? The shopkeeper said five thousand. Five thousand, and that's my final, final offer. Five thousand pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Oh wow, Stan! Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Yep. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. Sounds good, Stan. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some... Oh, just shut there. up, Stan. I don't just say that to <laughs> everybody. It's been great doing business with you. <laughs> really? Stan is 50% hilarious and 50% incredibly annoying. Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Oh, I need uh, free people for my crew? Well, there's free including me, so sure. All right, let's go to the dock, and we can sail to Monkey Island with a ship that will probably barely be able to float because I said no to absolutely every extra, including the rudder. <laughs> oh, that actually looks pretty nice. Hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. Of course. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek. Get your arm off of me. A buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. The moonlight is very fantastic. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? <laughs> then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here.
Uh, Stan, it's been Oops, a pleasure. I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. Oh, My thanks. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stan! Uh, will you get out of my face? Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty. It's Otis! Hey, long time no see. <laughs> Otis, I thought I'd never see you again. You two little two faced cretin, you tricked me. <laughs> Your Aunt Tilly makes lousy carrot cake. Your Aunt Tilly makes lousy carrot cake. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be bitter. I'm here to help. Not just for the money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? <laughs> How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> you never did know when to use that one. <laughs> Those are all so amazing. What's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? <laughs> How are we going to get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? Well, I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. Oh, really? What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Part 2, The Journey. And man, that last dialogue choice with Carla is just amazing. They're all great. And that's why I purposefully missed the how appropriate I thought oh, you fight like a cow. Uh, the earlier. courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, uh, Threepwood, <laughs> the sea monkey is finally oh, not underway. Blue. Also, Undaunted there's a skull by their the lack of navigational equipment or expertise, <laughs> the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. This is a nice ship. I like it. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? <laughs> I made a list. Suckered is right. <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. It's great! What are you Why talking about? Keep back, tie a rope to the wheel and cruise for a while. I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. But, um... Uh, <sighs> so, I'm we're... doomed. We're out of here for like a day and already our crew is mutiny. <laughs> it's a mutiny. What's the verb for that? Mutiny... I don't... That's the noun. What's the verb for it? I don't know. But there's already a mutiny aboard! What the heck? <laughs> well, yeah, this is going to be harder than we thought. And that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Forty. Tune in next time. We'll be exploring our ship and hopefully trying to find a way to actually sail the Monkey Island because absolutely none of us know the way. Hope to see you then. Have a great day and God bless.